Okay guys, so for one of my very first toy restorations, I have chosen um, this 1985 transportable tactical battle platform from G.I. Joe by Hasbro. Um, I found most of this in an attic. Uh, I was cleaning out a relative's attic and came across a lot of this and the owner said that I could have it, which was awesome. Missing quite a few pieces, so um, over the last several days, Many, many pieces came in the mail. So what came in the mail was the top half of the missile launcher and two missiles, the uh, gray plastic um, control panel for, for the control area plus the window, the spotlight, the helipad, struts for the helipad, the stairs for the helipad, and a crane and one of actually all four of the legs i had three of the legs but all four came in and then another item that was luckily enough in that a lot of stuff was the easily lost weapons rack one of the challenges i'm going to have with the restoration is somebody used and i can tell by the white going around the plastic that somebody used super glue Oop, there we go somebody used super glue to try to hold it in place, but it didn't work. So I will have to find a safe way to remove that from this 30 year old Hasbro plastic. So I think one of the first things I'm gonna do, um, I am gonna do a whole restoration. I am gonna lighten up, I'm gonna clean up the white. I'm gonna try and bleach that. I'm gonna remove all of the stickers almost all over, all over the, the original parts that I, I procured from my attic find. The, how should I say, over here, let me show you over here with the replacement parts. The stickers are um, almost exactly where they're supposed to be, but you can tell that, you know, this, this one was like the spare part I got on eBay and it was very well loved. It was very much played with outside. So I'm going to try and clean that up as best I can without discoloring it. So I'm going to be learning as I go. Um, here are all the other parts that I received. I'll just keep those as spares that if I really do screw up, and I can also use it as a guide as to where um, some of the, the uh, stickers went. But I'll be relying a lot on pictures I find on the internet. Uh, there are blueprints from like yojo.com and 3D Joe that I could definitely get. But you can tell like a lot of these stickers are really not where they're supposed to be. The control panel was in great shape. But again, just to make the, the entire thing pop, I am going to go with stickers that I've um, procured online. Uh, more about that when they come in, but I just I just really want the stickers to be vibrant um, Especially for photo shoots and things like that. I really think it's gonna look good So the first thing I'm gonna start with actually I think I'm gonna start with the glass and I'll walk through that what I'm gonna do with that here in a second All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do to restore this um, is pretty easy step is I'm gonna clean up this uh, canopy is You know pretty typically foggy happens to toys over time. I had something similar with my superpowers Superman Supermobile. Uh, when I got this off eBay, the canopy, you, it was just as foggy as uh, the uh, G.I. Joe one here and you could barely see through it. You could barely see Superman through through the canopy. So what I did was I used Meguiar's Plastex for headlights to clean the plastic of headlights and you know what? It did a fantastic job. It didn't scuff up um, the material at all it did a really good job brought it back to its original glory original luster um, so that's what i'm going to try to do here with this uh, particular canopy i'm going to start with a small section yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a q-tip and i'm just going to do a small section probably this section right here just to make sure that it doesn't damage uh, the plastic because i really can't afford to be buying replacement parts because uh, all of this, everything I do is on a budget. So let's get started with that. So I've got this shaken up. I shook this up pretty good uh, before we rolled there too. And the other, I should forget, uh, shouldn't forget to mention too, you should always have a clean cloth as well, a clean dry cloth to buff this stuff away. To make sure that this comes out. And I'm just gonna rub, 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 okay. Okay, let's give that a clean polish. Let's see how it does. Hmm. Okay, so the Q-tip, I mean, you can definitely feel that it's cleaner. 
it definitely feels smoother and cleaner than um, this panel over here. So it did get a little better. Might have to use soap and water or maybe Windex or something. So now I'm going to try this next panel. And again, you can see there are some scuffs to it. So I, I, the scuffs probably are not going to come out. But we're going to give it another shot here. Maybe the cloth will do a little bit better. That's squeaky clean. So, so here is the side that's treated. Here's the side that's not. Look, even with my mat, you can definitely see the camera's even focusing differently <laughs> um, based on all the schmutz. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my Meguiar's plastics to my cloth and I'm going to polish gently without breaking the plastic and we'll get you back on here when that's done. And in three, two, one. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, I just spent a few minutes polishing the the uh, canopy glass here with just my clean rag and this Meguiar's plastics. Just putting it on the rag and then gently buffing uh, the plastic. Again, wanting to be careful, number one, not to deform it because it does need to fit into its proper holding and also not to break it because this is 30 years old. All right, and here it is back on the battle platform. As you can see, you can see slipstream clearly through the glass. You can see the right down to the control panels. You can see the detail. Um, so this definitely did get a lot better than I anticipated. Like I said, it got just as transparent as the Supermobile canopy. A um, little deformed over here by the entryway. Not all that worried about it. Again, I, I totally get that this is 30 year old plastic and it is not going to be perfect. And I'm not an all or nothing type when it comes to this. Um, I've resigned myself not to be an all or nothing type because then what do you get? You get nothing. So I think overall that really adds to the detail. I know I'm missing a few parts. I'm missing some missiles. I'm missing the radar dish. Uh, but fortunately I believe this is all I need for the radar dish. I'm researching that more. I am missing the antennas or antenna, I should say. Um, I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to source the guns uh, for the gun rack. They are going to get expensive. Again, I'm not an all or nothing type. I definitely realize that there will be some things I will not be able to afford to get. Um, I think it looks great, uh, but it, I, I still want to go on restoring it because we do have some color mismatch. Um, and you can even see here on this one here, on uh, this pylon, this guy was used. It was definitely used, and that's great. That's awesome. It's going to be used again. We just got to get it back there. And I am missing um, that machine cover part right there. So, um, so there it is. That's step one. That's my first step into restoring this toy. I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope you guys are too. I will get to um, these updates as I can. So thanks so much for checking out my channel, and uh, we'll see you back soon.